We are principal consultants over at Baby Slings and Carriers. And today we are going to be talking to you about the hollow belt syndrome. What is the hollow belt syndrome? Hollow belt syndrome is a problem that from our observations affects up to 50% or more of baby wearers using soft structure carriers today. So what is the hollow belt syndrome? If you see today, Pearlene is wearing a soft structure carrier and how it works is that you have a belt that goes around the hip and the waist which makes it very supportive so when there is weight on the panel the baby sitting in the belt actually holds the weight and distributes it over your waist evenly in a case where there is a mismatch between the belt shape and the body that's where we have a hollow belt syndrome and i must emphasize the problem is caused by a mismatch of the carrier to the baby wearer's shape and not a brand specific problem. So now if we change over to another carrier that does not fit Pearlene, let's see what happens. The structure of the carrier looks very similar to the previous one, but there is a difference here. So when the baby's weight starts to sink in here, observe what happens. You can see that the belt, the top of the hip belt, starts to tilt forward. If you cannot see this very clearly, I will use this to help you see. Can you see what happens? So this is actually what happens when we have a hollow belt syndrome problem. It is a greater or lesser degree, but the more the belt tilts, the more you will feel the effect. So what is the effect of a hollow belt syndrome? Whenever there is weight going down on the belt, here, you will start to feel, the wearer itself will start to feel more pressure here, as well as here. And at the same time, there is another problem that occurs, and that is with the baby. Let me use this to show you. When a baby is hugged closely in a carrier, this is roughly what you're going to see, the baby in a hugging posture. But when the belt starts to tilt outwards, this is what you are going to see. So you will start to see that there's going to be an increased strain on the baby's upper back. At the same time, there will be a lot less support on the baby at the bottom. So this illustrates the two main problems that you are going to have with a hollow belt syndrome. So now at least I hope today's uh, session can help you understand better the hollow belt syndrome and is useful for you. Thank you for joining us today. If you like our baby wearing videos, please subscribe to our channel or follow us on our IG or Facebook for more information. Thank you. See you.